I'm BGC, be better good cooking. <laughs> Kevin, welcome to BGC, PGC, my cooking show. Yes! <laughs> Today I'm going to make kale soup. And that may strike fear inside of your hearts, and it should, because the kale is coming for you. And the first step is the so-called mise en poire, you know, carrots, onion, celery. <laughs> and that's, you know, you just dice up carrot, onion, and celery. One of each. Actually, personally, I wouldn't go for one, but, you know, it depends how big it is. Is it important to not peel the carrot? No, but I never peel the carrot. I'm a proponent of vegetable skins. They have nutrients and whatnot in them. How would you describe this cut? You know, you use the knife and you make it smaller. That might be called a dice. I'm cutting up celery. This is not a dice, but it could be if you wanted it to be. It probably should have been. What's done is done. What kind of onion is this? Um, looks like maybe uh, an Ohio gold. We only use local onions around here. What kind of a chop are we going for here, Kevin? I don't know. <laughs> Just make it smaller. Put in an amount. How's it going so far? Kevin's chopping technique is unrivaled. It's true. Phil, you know, I was all set to use a half onion, but you gave me a whole onion, and now it's like, you know, I can use the whole onion if you want me to. I think you should. Alright. Phil, as a knife technique expert, could you rate Kevin's methods? Please observe and be prepared. Oh, I've, I've seen this before. <laughs> I already know what I'm in for. Never never cut my fingers ever in my life. Just, yeah, just make it a big, <laughs> a big pile. And then I, you're gonna, you're gonna like double hand run it. Yeah, I, yeah, I've yeah. I've seen this before. <laughs> 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 I mean, knife. it's it's a it it's a means to an end. You know, if if it if it works for you, and uh, you know what, I'm gonna give that uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. That's what I'm gonna give. That. Are the vegetables getting smaller? Yeah, they are. They are. You gotta let your subconscious self think for you. You know. Hey, Phil. Phil, do you have any strong opinions on? people who put their fingers on the spines of knives as they chop? Um, well, is it like, like on, like is it like on the spine or, or wrapped around the spine? On the spine. That's weird. That, that's all, my only opinion, that's weird. Kevin, Sam, that's weird. It's not weird if Stop you have strong weird. fingers. If you have weak fingers, I can see why you'd avoid it. If you have strong fingers, it's a natural outcome. But I'm, I'm not saying it's wrong, you do have eight out of 10 techniques. <laughs> Yeah, I probably would've given you a set if I saw that. Sorry for putting you on blast like that, Kevin. No problem. <laughs> All right, then you get your, get your things uh, sauteing. Then you put in some salt, some pepper, and you just let it go for a while until it looks right. Will we be back? We will. How many garlics is this, Kevin? <gasps> this is two garlics. Which is double what the recipe calls for. Maybe I'll end up adding even more. What? <laughs> you just let that go a little bit. Prepare the broth. You want six to eight cups. I'm about that flavor concentration. How many dollars a year you think you save getting BTB instead of the prepackaged stuff? Um, probably about twelve grand. One thousand dollars a month. <laughs> now, we can add the herbs. We got some fresh thyme here. We'll do that. Where did it come from? Came from my refrigerator. Nice. Do we have any bay leaves? Bay leaves. <laughs> now with Kevin Tampering Proof Technology. <laughs> He yeah, doesn't totally understand. <laughs> gotta stop sneaking those bay leaves over there. <laughs> you lift where it says lift, Kevin. <laughs> I can't <laughs> read. <laughs> now, in the meantime, we will chop our potatoes. Hmm, questionable finger placement, Kevin. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. The trick is to just not cut yourself. People go on and on about, 
you know, what I'm doing with my fingers. But literally all you have to do is not cut yourself. And I'm cutting these somewhat small so that they cook faster. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, once you have those taters cut, put them on there. We'll let that get hot. Maybe this would help. I graduated science class. I am going to wash this kale. Sometimes there's bugs that live in the kale. They, they come out at night and bite you. So you gotta get rid of them by washing it. So I'm just gonna do this. It's been going as long as it took the potatoes to get soft. Now that they are soft, we will be adding our kale. This is about half the bunch. Got some white beans. Drained and rinsed. And we're just gonna run this long enough for this kale to get wilted. We'll be back with some sort of new development. So the last thing we'll be doing is putting some eggs in the soup. The soup is pretty thick right now. So I am going to add some more liquid. All right, we'll leave it at that for now. Oops, <laughs> you didn't see anything. <laughs> Let that get hot again, and then we'll add those eggs. All right, it's time to add the eggs. Kevin, are you doing that the right way or the expedited way? I am doing this the not right way. The right way would be to use ramekins and to very gently place the egg and egg yolk into the liquid. But I'm not doing that. I feel like that's gentle enough, right? Now once these cook some, I will add some lemon juice, and then we'll be good to go. Alright, once your eggs are set, add a little bit of lime, lemon juice. Lime juice. Li lime juice. <laughs> um, without the seeds. Yeah, don't mind the many seeds that are in there. You'd never put seeds in a dish, would you? I don't even know what seeds are. Alright, in the mix. I recently tasted it, could use some more salt. And that is probably good. Do you garnish this with cheese? Oh, thank you for reminding me <laughs> how to cook this. And don't forget the parmesan. Let's see. I like it. Simple, nothing fancy, but good. I love simple and good. That's how you do it. Does it taste like the last time you had it, Kevin? I don't remember, I don't know. But it was good. Yeah, put the parmesan on. Oh shit. I got holes in my brain. <laughs> Look at this, this gorgeous egg yolk. Just chilling. Look at that thing. Bloop. Oh baby. Baby on a highway. That's great. That's phenomenal. That's a good soup. I think the star and flavors, it's, it's really, really earthy. Like the potato and kale combo just tastes like a nice garden harvest. But the cheese and the egg yolk, the cheese and egg add like that, that savory richness. Oh, it's really good. This is like, if you were out, like lost in a snowstorm, you came in, this would, this would heal you instantly. Great work, Kevin. That's all I have to say. I didn't do nothing. Okay, bye. Smash that motherfucking like button!